This episode is presented by Grandma's Big Hug 4, the mobile squeezing game taking the world by storm. In a world overrun by superhero franchises, a beloved game series returns to give Marvel buffs the double shot of fan service they need and the slack-jawed, button-mashing gameplay they deserve. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Rediscover a series that hasn't seen an entry since the PS2 era, when making a superhero game with light action RPG elements was considered novel, and marvel at how little they've managed to change since then, by focusing on what the fans really want. Cameos from characters you like, cameos from obscure characters you can feel cool for knowing about, voice actors that sound 85% like the A-list stars, I am Groot and a familiar premise cut almost directly from the 10 years of movies you've already watched. All of which tries its absolute best to make up for the fact that you're basically playing Streets of Rage. Look, if the prospect of playing as three distinct Spider-Men doesn't excite you, I'm gonna say skip this one. Fist your way through mobs of mooks in this top-down brawler, whose extremely light action RPG gameplay is less Diablo and more Gauntlet that will have you furiously combining your special powers into massive explosions of particle effects and numbers in the hopes of whittling down the endless waves of foes so you can move on to the next square-shaped room and face one of the many game's iconic antagonists in tediously spongy boss fights where they'll eat up your attacks like delicious candy while owning you with lasers until you break their shields and get three whole seconds to do some actual damage for a gameplay experience that tests your patience much more than your skills. Unless one of your skills is low standards. Sigh deeply as the difficulty ramps up for no particular reason. <sighs> and even normal enemies start to soak up damage like the Juggernaut. As you realize that the game only levels up the characters you have active in your team or spend in-game experience boosters to catch your supermen up to the level 22 street thugs you're fighting, basically forcing you to stick to a handful of characters if you want to make any progress, and also expects you to go replay one-off challenge fights outside of the main story to stay at level parity, in a leveling system that feels like it was designed to have microtransactions that got pulled at the last minute because it's really hard to imagine that fun was the priority here. Watch your eyes roll into the back of your skull as you confront Marvel Alliance's extremely boring RPG elements. From the sphere grid of tiny marginal upgrades to your stats, to the abilities that all get identical boosts when you level them, and the loot system, where instead of getting new capes or tights or whatever, you pick up random gems that give you an extra 4% endurance. Which is good, because you're gonna need all the endurance you can get to see the end of this thing. So slip into that slimming spandex and get ready to assemble for a game that boldly ignores the precedent set by the modern era and returns us to a tradition almost as old as video games themselves. Mediocre licensed beat-em-ups designed to rip off children. Starring Puke Skywalker, Trash Panda, Green John Cena, Scary Sue, Vin D and Diesel, Right in the Arc Reactor, America's Ass, The Unjolly Green Giant, the Dude, Largely Ignored, Human Oakleys, Anaphylactic Shock, Very Big Catman, Chaos Tiara Magic, Super Karen, Talker of the Managers, Stacy Armstrong, Captain Canada, Didn't they cancel this? Snake Man. The Inevitable Hulk, Cosplay Patreon, The Beyonce of Weather, Marvel Sonic, American Darling Ryan Reynolds, Magnetos, how do they work? Leo Pardon, 
Spost Malone, Gwen Stefani, Leather Daddy Longlegs, Murdoch's Red Hot, Raphael, Harlem Globe Throttle, Kung Pao, David Copperfield, Ashley and the Evil Dead, and Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Disney Ultimate Franchise 3. Now, if you want a real Marvel experience, you have got to play Captain America and the Avengers, because you aren't really a superhero until a man in a Speedo throws his big purple fist at you. This episode is presented by Grandma's Big Hug 4, the mobile squeezing game taking the world by storm. I am the Naruto running world champion. For the last time, your princess is in the other castle. It's time to nip things up. Hey, get your leg out of my belly button. Mozambique here.